Welcome back. We've been sharing articles online lately about the return of the El Nino weather pattern. Meteorologist Amy Metz is here to explain what that means for our weather in this week's WeatherWise. Yeah, so welcome to WeatherWise. For this week, I will be covering exactly what that means. Some of you may or may not be familiar with El Nino or La Nina, but it actually has a lot to do with our weather patterns. So what this means is that we have different sea surface temperatures. Either it'll be warmer or cooler. And hints of El Nino actually started back in October when I noticed there was moisture traveling across the equator. Normally it stays on one side or the other, but that was the start. Soon after, where we had an end to a lot of our droughts in the United States and also an end to the floods in Asia. So it was then in November that we had that large snowstorm. You might remember that. And I'll explain exactly how that came to be. So we had been in La Nina, that cooler sea surface temperature all over the Pacific Ocean for quite a while. It was a couple, two, about two or three years. And every two to 10 years, according to what we have data for, the most homogeneous of that being since the 1950s from the National Weather Service, it has been noted that we change about every two to 10 years. And so when we have this La Nina pattern, it's the cooler temperatures here that will create a lot more high pressures off toward Alaska. And what that does around the uh, high pressure at the surface, we have this air flowing south along the west coast. When that happens, it actually kind of pushes away a lot of the weather patterns. High pressures are known to be associated with the sunshine and less rain. But we've had some mixing lately. And in fact, we are phasing into El Nino at the moment. That means we've seen a lot of those low pressures up toward Alaska. And in that case, the air is flowing in opposite direction. It's going to be bringing up a lot more moisture from the Pacific toward the United States. And it actually sometimes gets to flow right in like what we're seeing right now. So past Hawaii, there is right now a low pressure. And again, we have this moisture coming in from near the South Pacific across the equator. And here we go with it streaming right into the United States. So we have had some droughts in play for quite a while, but we're seeing a reprieve. Now, some very high snow totals, more than 500 inches in parts of California did actually eliminate the drought, which had been standing there for so long. Now, moving inland a little bit, the streams will continue to be affecting where we have that large area of drought still ongoing in the central states. But up toward North Dakota, we really have been seeing a phase out thanks to El Nino. And that wraps up this week's Weather Wise. Thanks, Amy.